Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Animalia. Welcome back to our one of two new interchanges. The other one appears to be working. This one, a little cranky. I've changed this from just a single slip into a two-lane, just to give it the option so that people can just go in just a few more directions as they're coming off here. We'll uh, have to wait and see how it plays out. At some point, I may look at ditching the traffic lights here and here, but we'll just have to wait and see. In the interim, we now have a very healthy industrial demand, which means it's time for zoning this little lot. We've got some unpleasant little um, incineration plants up here. There's a place I um, it might be. There's quite a steep cliff over here. A slightly better place that I could possibly stick you that you won't be causing so much pollution for my nice... Well, I don't need the garbage disposal, which is a shame. Oh well. The hope I held that you guys get sorted out and cleaned out as soon as possible so we can just get, you know, some cleaner air over here. Because once these two are gone, I can just move these over here and maybe just stick a, a one-way service road in. Do I have vehicle restrictions? Apply all vehicles. Ban all vehicles. Five vehicle restrictions on the between two junctions. Invert. Okay. So we might play around with that in a bit. So that we can basically, you know, make it so that we can have this connected but make it just for junk and the emergency services. So we can actually get some, move these guys over here. But in the interim, let's start putting in more planning. Wow. You guys are very determined to be in that lane. Huh. Alright, so that's because the middle two lanes here aren't used. I can potentially do something about that. By doing that. And then seeing how things go in a bit. It'll take a while for them to sort their pathing out. That's not too bad. This isn't queued up too badly. So, oh, you are full, empty, so I can you know, get rid of you. And get rid of the pollution you're causing. So, right, what we want is to let this tick up and let this tick up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, half decent chance in the middle of this, we might get shiny happy news. So, what we did last time, we had a one way route that went up the center and then split off and then came down the middle. So, what we're going to do is just have a one way route that goes across the middle of this. Give me a straight line. Like so. Uh, but not all the way across, because I'm actually going to change the direction up to that point. And then, with a slight weave. Alright, fine. It's a. Uh, what are you that apparently I can't build through? Police station, okay. Well, I need you to have reasonably good access. So move across a little bit if you wouldn't mind, please. Good sirs. Like that. So that these guys will come in there, come in there, and then go out heading for this, because ultimately I suspect a lot of them are going to be heading for that. Or go out this way and join the roundabout. Don't need two lane that's too big a road apparently. Let's switch it down to that. So we've already got two people deciding they were very interested in this this particular traffic direction. Let's carry on. Okay, doesn't like that because of the slope. Have you come out to here? Enjoy. And then go along the middle. And join. Come out to there. And join. Uh, let's just do normal two lane road there. And then we'll have a road that comes out there, comes to there, comes across, and then joins back up again. It's all about the one-way road system. 
keep the one-way road system going, and then we will get our marquee tool and mark with industry. Let's just grab this little lot and just paint. Paint for victory. Okay, we're going to level up. Let's grab you. Grab on the inside of that, and let's check our district tool. Did I zone outside of it? I did. So let's make sure we extend Donkey Woods. It's Donkey Woods, isn't it? Donkey Woods, yeah, to uncover that so I don't get anyone doing anything that might be considered polluting. So, having zoned, here come the lights. This is just going to turn into an absolute last uh, unpleasantness of traffic, I suspect. I wonder whether or not making that one way up to there. Traffic is going lots of different directions in this location, so to wait and see. Alright, so apparently we had a vast industrial demand, and that has been entirely rectified by one, two buildings. Three buildings. Right, we did have as power supply, water's already in. Alright, so that massive industrial demand was remedied by a very, 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 very small number of buildings. As always, interesting. Building is emptying, thank you very much. No idea what that civil was, but it's already gone. This apparently isn't blocking up too badly. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure I said you weren't allowed to do that. Oh, it's an emergency vehicle, so they can. New building. Oh yes, I bought a mod, which allows me to have... Bus depots, bus station, train station, trains. There we go. Sunken stations. They're quite interesting things. We'll have a look at them later, but at the moment I don't have a, a particular location for a location for them. But one of the other buildings we did get, yes, I know it burnt down. I imagine the fire service will deal with it in the time. Speaking of fire service, it's a large amount of industry with not a lot of fire coverage. Go there. Prevent things from burning down quite so easily. Also, just improve the mood of everyone around here. The Avery. Oh, yes. That does look like something that might be interesting. So, let's give this a quick bit of zoning while it rains. And we shall call this district the Feather. Because that's what I think it looks par partially like. And policies. Taxation, tax relief, fire density, tax relief offices, let's get leisure, city planning, hmm, big business benefactor. Double their sales, if you please. Oh yes, the other thing I bought, telescope dish. There's a mod for astronomy and the rest of it. Trying to decide where I was going to stick it, but there's not plenty of space down here, so, um, doink. Any other new buildings I picked up that might be of interest? No, I think it's just those ones in the train station. We do have a lot of these things as well, the zoo, the plaza, but I'm saving them for what will be the city centre area in here. So I will worry and look at that later. Are you empty yet? 88% full. What are you complaining about? Not enough workers. You desperately need uneducated people. Looks like we're building a huge, great big new residential area. I've got plans on tidying this up over here, and perhaps There's something we should do while I recognise it is put in slope too steep, apparently. That. 
just so that it, it, uh, it's awful. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. The intent was I wanted to just turn this into a proper roundabout. But, um, let's pause and cause problems for ourselves. in over there and then no space already occupied is a very frustrating thing to hear can I come in from over here without you on you do that which would just be really silly <laughs> trucks Trucks in the air. We've got trucks. Trucks in the air. Not the greatest. It's a bit of a wiggle. Trying to work out how that was ever a sane curve in the first place. No, no, and no. Fine. Oh, you're leaving. Right, okay. That makes a little bit more sense then. If you're an out, I can do that. You see the truck's popping and bouncing. So, right, that means that this is now actually a full size proper roundabout. So that when I want to do have other things going off this side, I don't have to worry about people coming in this direction and they're going in really weird directions other than that. Right, done. One of the other buildings we picked up was a interchange cargo harbour. Now it turns out that the only space we've got that we can possibly put this is here because we don't have any other shoreline that remotely connects to where the boats go. The boats go out from here. So what I will do is I'm going to pause the recording here. I am going to shuffle around and sort all of these guys and all this lot somewhere else so that I can actually put my harbour in here. I'll be right back after this scene change kind of montage effect. And we're back after our special effect. And I've moved everything. So all the pipe things have gone around the corner. And now I've filled what was this neatly ordered thing. Is now this mess of wind turbines. To the point whereby power now flows between these two. Without the need for any kind of special connections. Also the water's plugged in. So that's kind of done. Good. Sorted. Shiny. I think we'll just get to those ones, we'll find out if they start complaining a bit. So let's get our cargo terminal in. So now we can see, yes, connect it, done. So let's put it, give it a bit of space, about here-ish or so. So what this needs to be done is connected to our road network and our railway network. So this might be a bit of fun. Ooh... I wonder if we can run some kind of railway connection from here along the edge over here. Let's start by finding out. Railway. Yes, we can. Um, right. So... Bring it around over to here, and then make landfall. Hell of a run across to there. And I actually have to pair some of this back a bit because we need to rise up to get across. Wow, that's awkward. 
Let's um, switch that to straight line mode from about here-ish. So we want it to ever so slightly elevated and get as close as we possibly can. And I hope that we ever so we can indeed. Get across. And then probably to switch to wiggle mode again. Really? We're just clipping the very edge of that? That is slightly annoying. That's fine, so we'll go up to about here-ish, go to there, go straight across. Oh, a little bit of elevated roadway. Apparently we're going under that. <laughs> That's bizarrely convenient. No idea why. That is already a position to do that. Right to here. And then we will go out. That way to connect that side. No. This way, if you please. And that way, to connect that side. So we now have a railway connection. Quite a pleasant bridge. Linking our new cargo harbour up. So, let's double check that we've got water. And that we have power. I don't really want to run out of either. While we're over here, we have a road. Might as well make use of it. Put in some very low density housing all the way over here. And the inside bits there. And the low density commercial lot there. Because I'm feeling nice, I will also put an office block in there. Now we need to connect that up with our road network over here. So let's just grab it from that junction. And just have a drag straight across to there. Done, and then we will, I will fill in with a little bit more let's just put a wind turbine in the middle once the buildings are in it will sort us of out a bit and then we'll just paint in the remains of that. Right. Done. The shame is a moment, not a slightly more interesting bridge, but such as it is. Okay. Right, we have our new, new cargo terminal, and people are apparently neckbeard organization. So someone's built an office in over here, and someone's built a little bit of commercial work over here. We have uh, quite a way to go before we get too far in the winds of much of the way here, but one thing we can do is we can um, let's grab... I'm really going to put a graveyard in over here. Yeah, I'm going to. Shoreside graveyard. Look really nice. Um, we will put an elementary school in. This is people who want one. Um, yeah, we probably will have to put a bus route in. Sunken City Plaza. Oh, that looks like quite a nice little, yes. nice little plaza thing to put over this when you're out. <laughs> Which is school? What's what's behind this school? This is the pumping school. What do you do next to this? Pump. We pump and we pump and we pump. And that's a train line. We want a bus route that simply just goes from there to there to. There, 
and then stops outside the school and comes back again. A quick little route. So our bus depot will now spaff out some more buses for no apparent reason. This isn't too badly snarled up. I am kind of tempted to bin the traffic lights or find some other way of improving the connection. But I think at the moment it's not causing me too much of a problem. Yeah, well, we'll see. We will see. Are you empty yet? No, 56% full. This lot's filled itself in. They're uh, complaining about workers, but it's beginning to trickle down, slowly but surely. More buildings are on fire. I'm assuming the fire service will deal with those in their usual rapid and effective manner. I wonder if I can get a pathway in over there to close out today's episode. There we go. Done. Just, you know, help a little bit. Now, that's going to burn down, isn't it? Car carpet. Doesn't appear to be any fire trucks. Is that a fire truck? No, it's not a fire truck. Wow. Okay, I think I know what we'll be looking at next, next time, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines and Animalia, and this is next episode's power problem. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a power problem. Traffic problem. Traffic. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like me solving traffic problems.